Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. We're back today with a new video and this one is one that I've been wanting to watch for the past few days. I couldn't get links to it anywhere online, but now that I have, I can't wait to watch it. We're back with another Monskin video. Someone we've reacted to a lot in the past. We've done Begin, we've done I Wanna Be Your Slave, we've done music videos, we've done live performances. We've done so much on the channel, so go check out all those reactions after this one. We're back today with another live performance and it's of two songs, two songs that I love. So let's just get on into it. Over the weekend, they performed on SNL. They done two songs and I'm gonna get into them. Begging and I Wanna Be Your Slave, the iconic I Wanna Be Your Slave. So we're gonna get into Begin first, then we'll get into the second one. And at the end, I'll share my thoughts and my Final review on both songs, so let's just hit play on Begin. I haven't heard his voice in so long. I haven't listened to much recently of Manskin. I've listened to Mamma Mia a lot over the past few weeks, but other than that, I haven't heard his voice. So this is like a fresh listen to something I already know. Looking at this suit straight away, we're gonna get looks from the full band. His vocals are always on point, always. I love how there's no instruments and they just come in and they're having fun. I love this cowboy hat moment. And her feathered arms. Yes, these looks are iconic. I love his makeup. It's so, so subtle. But oh my god. His voice is so good. He's holding down notes. Ra ta ta ta. Yes. And I love these little boots he's wearing. I honestly want a pair. They're so cool. He did not just say, put your hand out, darling, and then go like this. He's enjoying it. He's singing. He's vibing out to the beat. He's dancing, doing a little bit of hand movement, gestures. So he's enjoying the performance. And the other two beside him, they're interacting. They're having fun. They're doing a little bit of dancing too. So we're getting we're getting a full performance from them. He's interacting with the camera, yes. And this rapping, he raps so effortlessly. The production is so strong, his rapping is on the beat. And I love how graspy his voice is. You put your loving and out of it. Oh my god, he's holding this note. Oh my god. He's performing. Oh my god, he's doing it. He's doing the utmost. And the attitude. Yes. Yes. I'm so excited to get into the second song now. I Want to Be Your Slave is the second one and I love that song more than this one. So I'm just going to be vibing out to it. The one thing I do want to point out in that was the guy with the hat. Yes, I'm still not aware of all of their names. I don't quite know a lot about them other than their music. But the guy with the hat, that blazer he was wearing, that was stunning. We're just going to move on now to the next song. This one is a switch up. It's feathered arms, different looks. They're all so different in this one. Different stage it looks, I'm not sure, but we're gonna just see what they do. He's got the feathered arms this time. His hair slicked back. I love her little blazer moment. And him, oh my god, he's in the snake skin. Yes. Yes, I did mention his voice in the other song. He effortlessly sings so, so good. 
He holds notes, the graspiness. Oh my god. Not him going places and making these noises, holding the microphone in specific places. Oh my god. Always controversial, always making a moment. Man, I, man. <laughs> I love that he bleeped himself. He did this for the swear word. I love that he did that. Not many singers do acknowledge that. They just blank over the word or ignore it. Or some do say it. But he made a point of recognizing it. That's just iconic behavior. And these guitars, these guitars. Yes. We're getting a guitar solo. We love the production of this song. I honestly do. I wanna be a master. I wanna make a hot beat run like roller coasters. I wanna be a big boy. I wanna be a master. I wanna be the DJ and I can be the dancer. Oh, yes. Yes, yes, that's my favorite part when he whispers that part. Then the beat builds and builds and builds. I love that. They're just vibing, they're enjoying the beat, they're just enjoying being on a stage, and that's what I love about this band. They interact with the audience, they interact with the camera, they interact with each other, but in the moment they're having fun for themselves with the song. He did little subtle gestures there at the end, like the wink, things like that, just to be playful. That's that's the best way to describe him on stage. Playful, fun, he enjoys it. So guys, I'm gonna go watch these both again. Take them all in without any interruptions and I'll be back with my final thoughts regarding both and a rating out of 10. So guys, I'm back and nine out of 10. Nine out of 10 is my rating. Simply because of the looks were on point, the production was on point. The band players, the players using the instruments, they were phenomenal. His voice came through. I love the tone and the register he has with his vocals. So 9 out of 10. And I am marking it down just because these songs are quite overplayed by, by Manskin. They were everywhere and now we're kind of sick of hearing them. So I am wanting to hear something new and something fresh for Manskin. Yes, I don't know any of their albums. I don't know any of their work previous to last year. So that's up to you guys. Let me know down below what I should listen to, what I should react to. Let me know in the comments. And while you're not, follow all my social media. They're always in the description. My Instagram, my Twitter, and my TikTok. Instagram's on the screen, so follow it and the others. And don't forget to subscribe, like the video, and turn notifications on. And I'll see you in the next video.